practice makes a man perfect don't lose hope keep on practicing hi and welcome to sorangavali myself yatra in this video we are going to see three questions question number 11 32 and 38 from gate exam 2015 i request you to download the same question paper from the link given in the description because different sets of question paper is available in online question number 32 in a fully mechanized board and pillar mining system winning of coal and its transportation from face is commonly carried out with the combination of they have given four option option a continuous miner to shuttle car shuttle car to feeder breaker feeder breaker to belt conveyor option b continuous miner to load haul dumper load haul dumper to feeder breaker feeder breaker to chain conveyor option c continuous miner to sdl side discharge loader sdl to feeder breaker feeder breaker to chain conveyor option d continuous miner to shuttle car shuttle car to feeder breaker feeder breaker to chain conveyor before going to the answer i am going to show you some of the videos related to working of this missionaries working of continuous miner in an underground mines working of shuttle car is shown in this video working of load haul dumper loading operation of side discharge loader we can learn from the video that continuous miner is used only for extracting the coal from the face while shuttle car is used only for transporting or hauling the coal from one area to another area while load haul dumper and side discharge loader is capable of both loading hauling and unloading the material so continuous miner and load haul dumper and side discharge loader cannot work in an sequence so in our option option b and c where continuous miner is engaged with load haul dumper and side discharge loader is not correct so it is ruled out we are left with the option of a and d in a and d continuous miner to shuttle car shuttle car to feeder breaker is is common in both option so we have to choose whether it's going to be chain conveyor or belt conveyor the right answer is belt conveyor because for long distance transportation rather than chain conveyor belt conveyor is more useful and it is correct means so the right answer is option a continuous miner to shuttle car shuttle car to feeder breaker feeder breaker to belt conveyor question number 38 it is one of the interesting questions don't skip anywhere otherwise you can't understand clearly let me read the question first in a short wall panel coal is extracted from face by continuous miner which is having a rate of production of 30 tons per hour the coal having specific gravity of 1.4 is transported by shuttle cars of 0.9 meter cube each to feeder breaker located at 60 meter from face if the average speed of lhd is 0.5 meter per second and total loading and unloading time of lhd is 40 second the number of lhds required to match the production of continuous miner is option a 1 option b 2 option c 3 option d 4 first let us try to understand the question in this question they are extracting coal they are extracting coal with the help of continuous miner from continuous miner it is transported to shuttle car and shuttle car to feeder breaker 
what they are asking is instead of continuous minor and shuttle car combination if i am going to use load haul dumper how many load haul dumper i need to match the production of continuous minor this is they have asked in this question what are all the details we know about load haul dumper in this question loading time is 20 second unloading time is also 20 second but the distance it has to travel is 60 meter and the speed of load haul dumper is 0.5 meter per second if you know the speed is 0.5 meter per second and distance is 60 meter what will be the time taken to travel that 60 meter at the speed of 0.5 meter per second it is a simple formula time is equal to distance divided by speed so 60 by 0.5 is equal to 120 seconds what it mean so the time taken for loading is 20 second time taken for traveling that 60 meter is 120 second time taken for unloading is 20 second so the time taken for one cycle for load haul dumper is loading time 20 second plus 2 into 120 because it has to to go and come that is to and fro motion so 2 into 120 plus unloading time 20 is equal to 280 seconds if load haul dumper is taking 280 second for one cycle then for 3600 second that is one hour how much cycle it will make total cycle for one hour for load haul dumper is 3600 divided by 280 is equal to 13 cycle it means that for one hour this load haul dumper is making 13 cycles now let's assume that each load haul dumper is having a capacity equal to that of shuttle car that is 0.9 meter cube if for one cycle load haul dumper is able to carry 0.9 meter cube then for 13 cycle that is for one hour how much meter cube it can carry material handled by load haul dumper for 13 cycle is 0.9 meter cube into 13 is equal to 11 meter cube per hour what it shows that each load haul dumper can carry or can handle 11 meter cube per hour of material but according to our question continuous minor production for one hour is 30 ton keeping in mind the specific gravity of coal is 1.4 the total meter cube handled by continuous minor for an hour is 21.42 meter cube but what we have found that one lhd can handle only 11 meter cube of material for one hour then we have to find how much lhd we have to deploy in order to meet the production of continuous minor the number of lhd required to match the production of continuous minor is 21.42 divided by 11 is equal to 1.9 when you round off it is coming around 2 lhd in a in our question we can see that the option b 2 lhds is the correct answer practically we see that on the given condition one continuous minor production is to be matched by two load haul dumper question number 11 out of the support categories given for an underground coal mine identify the active support option a wire mesh option b short crate option c fully grouted roof bolts option d hydraulic prop first we should know about what are active and passive support active support are those support that transfer the load from roof to floor while passive support are those support that do not transfer the load from roof to floor but they are very much useful in supporting the roof only in options we can see that wire mesh is all is a passive support b short crit is also a passive support option c fully grouted roof bolt is also a passive support the correct answer is hydraulic prop it is an active support